guys, it's Kevin from Ford Orange Woodworking. Today we are going to be doing a quick tool review, so this is going to be a short one. We are going to be reviewing the Microplane brand rasping tool. I picked this up because um, the more I do projects, the more I find that I've been getting away from uh, more modern techniques and, and, and going back to more um, time-tested old school methods so for example like i found myself sanding for hours to get to get uh wood plain down smooth finished and then i find that it's a lot easier if you use some older techniques with some hand tools such as rasps and chisels as opposed to uh, machines and, and sandpaper so uh, sandpaper wasn't around forever before it, before it was they had to do something so I am going to be testing out this microplane rounded rasp to see how it compares to other methods that I've used in the past. So let's see what we got. Okay, right out of the bag, we've got this microplane model 30011 uh, rounded large rasp with handle, blades made in the USA. Picked this up from Amazon, it got here pretty quick take it out of the package comes with some instructions here see if there's anything important that it tells us to do all right little couple uh, couple safety methods tells you not to bend it because right out of the package I can tell uh, plastic is handle seems pretty strong uh, good grip to it also it feels a little it, it feels pretty lightweight and I don't want to mean, mean that as a negative but if you're not careful with this and you and you bend into the center, you could probably break this. So let's uh, get to the real test here. I've got a couple of pieces that I'm using for another project. If you check out my other videos, these are for the wine racks that I'm currently making. And I rough cut these on the bandsaw, so it left a little bit of the bandsaw marks right in here. This is just some pine, but it's pretty pretty thick pine, pretty pretty dense. So let's see how this how this rasping tool works on, on pine in this rounded section here. I am going to move the camera. I'm going to move this over to my clamp so that we can get a good grip on it. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm going to start with some nice light strokes. I'm not really digging in, I'm just letting the, the rasp do the work. And I can tell right away that it's cut and pretty smooth. This really, uh, the microplane company also makes these types of tools for um, grating fruits and vegetables. So like they, they make these like in a zester form as well. It seems to be pretty much the same construction from what I can tell online. Um, but this one, I don't know if it's specifically designed for wood, but this is pretty smooth. Now, of course, I'm going against the grain because I really have no other choice. And I'm seeing just like a lot of a lot of flakes coming off. So this is coming off pretty, pretty fine. And I can already tell that a lot of my bandsaw marks are, are almost disappearing. Now this is a rounded rasp, but I'm going to use it on the flat section too, using all edges of the tool just to see what it does. It's pretty good. I mean, it's working like a rasp. You got to be careful. If you can see here, I went against the grain and it did have a little bit of tear out, but you're, I'm not supposed to be doing that anyway. This is just for testing purposes. So if you're going against the grain, you gotta be careful on these edges. You are probably going to um, break the grain like you would with any other rasp. Let's move on to oak. So again, I don't recommend going against the grain. This is just for testing purposes only. I've got some oak with some pretty deep saw marks in here. Nice and easy to start. It is having no trouble with the oak either. Going right through it against the grain. Again, we want to be careful to tear out at the ends. 
but this is cutting through effortlessly and I am pretty happy with this tool. You can see the dark sections here is where I cut. It created like a new uh, layer, new grain. So there you have it. The microplane rounded fine rasp. So there it is. I think that this is going to make a pretty neat uh, addition to my toolkit. I think it's going to come in handy. I double checked my order. I paid $17.99 uh, through Amazon with a 20% discount. So I think its original price was like $22.99 somewhere around there. So 18 bucks for this. I think it's, a, it's going to be a worthwhile investment considering I do use rasps quite a bit. I think this is going to replace several of my older ones that are falling apart. Um, however, I was on the uh, microplane Amazon store site and a lot of their woodwork woodworking tools are currently unavailable. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're having some shipping issues, if they're phasing out the, um, the woodworking portion of their company to focus on food, um, or if maybe they just sold out temporarily and they're getting more in stock because this is a new line. I don't know. I'm probably going to do a little research because I kind of like this microplane company. I'm going to look into it a little more and probably add a flat one to my uh, toolkit if one becomes available. But I don't know. Hey, microplane, if you're listening, give me some answers. Uh, I'd love to try some more stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. Always nice to have some new tools into your um, collection that are going to save you time and in the long run probably save you money. So again, hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave a comment and I will see you next time in the shop. Thanks everyone. Have a good one.